What's up, YouTube? It's Craig and Colt James. Son, are you comfortable over there? Yes, sir. You need to try to drive in some time. Let me kick back. Well, we're getting a late start today. It's uh, late January. The temperature this morning was about 30 degrees, and, and all that meant for us is we were staying in that warm bed, wasn't we, big man? Yes. Yeah, I guarantee you, it, it's tough to get up this time of year, but we're going for a little late afternoon trip, and we're going to be targeting one of our favorite species today. Um, Colt, let's, well, you want to tell them what it is? Is it bass? No. Giant redfish? No. Speckled trout? No. Speckled perch? Warm out? No. Red breast? No. I'm gonna cut on to it. We're it's going. It's mudfish. He says mudfish. Ding, ding, ding. He's a winner. Uh, the the scientific books call them both in, but down here in the south we just call them big, nasty, dirty mudfish. They're meaner than rattlesnakes. They bite in the freezing cold, the pouring rain, the sunshine, tornadoes, hurricanes. A mudfish is gonna bite, and that's why we chose to target them today. So. We're headed down to Folkestone, Georgia. We'll give you more details on exactly where later on in the show. First, we're gonna stop, get us some good food at the Okie Finoki restaurant, get fueled up for the fight. Y'all stay tuned with us. It's gonna be a lot of fun today. We're gonna catch a bunch of fish. All right. There you go. Yes, sir. Is that a fish? Yep. Mm -hmm. Nice and spin. Yeah. All right, I got you. Keep him coming. That's a good one, Colt, man. Oh, yeah. Nice. Tar. See by lifting it. Yeah, I, what I do when I think there's a fish, now if I feel one bump, like really hit it, then I'll just reel it down and snatch. But if I if I if it feels heavy, I'll kind of ease barely. And if it don't go away, then I pop his butt. You know, I go like this, look. I go like this, look. Is it a fish? And then I kind of pull up, and if it's white, mm -hmm. it's not. Yeah, up. Oh, shoot. That was a throw there, man. Oh, here we go. There we go, son. Here we go. You're good. Cold. You're good. <laughs> so don't let that mudfish whoop you, boy. <laughs> mudfish got such a hard mouth, man. Yeah, that's what I say on something. Lifting it up. Yeah, they're hard. Oh, yep. got you a little something. Nice and easy. Oh, that one come off. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, Misty. Oh, man. Look at that, he pulled my worm down, dropped my pants. Dropped my pants? <laughs> my sister say. <laughs> I said, what kind of fish are these? I said, I don't know about all this swamp fishing. Oh. There he is. He <laughs> meat got me again. That sucker. Two times in a row. He he keeps thumping it and then turning it loose. They slick. So the, people act like catching mudfish is just the easiest thing, but these rascals is slick sometimes. They are tough to hook. And I bet I could get that fish. I'm waiting on you to get a sure enough giant in a minute. 
that it could barely even stay on my. I want one that's 12 feet. There you go, Colt. Oh, oh there we go. Yeah, I got it. You ain't need a net on this one. Since I've been going slower, I've been getting more. Yeah, that's what it seems like. Good. Oh yeah. Nice. There you go. Just making sure I got him. You got him. Good. Just keep him steady. Look like a pretty good one. You want to wear him out some. Here, don't go. Sit down, buddy. Sit down so you don't flip the kayak. Come on, Bill Dance. Yeah, come on, Bill Dance. Oh yeah. All right. This is the biggest there one I caught today. Oh, yep, he's a good one. Oh man, dang, he bit it. Look right here, go look at that gator. You see him? Man, look at that joker. He's just getting some sun, boy. Yeah, we ain't. Oh, uh oh. Mm. Yeah. All right, guys, me and Colts headed home from the Swanee Canal Recreation Area in Folkestone. Good day on the mudfish, wasn't it, Colts? Yes, sir. Yeah, they, uh, it wasn't your, your bite like it'll get later on in summer, but, you know, we managed to catch several fish. I don't know how many, and the batteries died, and our GoPro, my charging bank wasn't working, so I don't know what we got on camera and what we didn't. Never did get any just giant mud fish in the kite, but we had some big ones come off on the way, didn't yes, we? Sir. I know you had a couple come yes, off. Yes, so uh, the bite today was, you know, really light. It was almost like a finesse bass fishing bite. You know, they'd just pick it up and you'd feel them let loose and then they'd pick it up. And, you know, it, it was it was tougher than normal, but it sure it sure was a cure for the wintertime blues, wasn't it? Yes, sir. You wouldn't really feel the bite when they did it, too. You would have to lift up your pole a little bit, and then when you feel it, so most time you miss it when you try to swing at it. Yeah, I, I think you missed less than I did. That's for sure. I was I was struggling there for a little bit. Hey, I'll throw this in there for any of y'all that's watching this. If you've got any questions about Swanee Canal Recreation Area, feel free to hit me up in the comments below. I'll be glad to reach out to you and get hold to you and help you any way I can. It really will fire off down. Um, in folks and around april and may, and may me and colt really like to get on them warm mouth don't we yes sir and that's fun and the mud fish will always be biting uh the flyers will be biting it's just a great place to fish good place to take a kid fishing i know me and colt we're able to have a lot of fun and, and a lot of laughing and good times there ain't we yes sir yeah anyway he talked me into keeping uh one of the mud fish and when we get to the house we're gonna try to get him cooked up um i ain't quite sure how we're gonna do him yet but we'll We'll try to come at y'all from the kitchen uh, just so you can kind of take a look at it and see that you know mudfish hitting so bad it might surprise you just how good it is but thank y'all for joining us out on the water we'll catch y'all in a little bit in the kitchen we got the mudfish cleaned up and ready all i did was fillet it out and then i trimmed off some of the excess fat we just kept one fish colt was really wanting some uh the key to mudfish is you want to clean them fresh and, and you want to cook them fresh. They don't freeze well and they don't keep good in the fridge. But other than that, they're excellent. So we're going to get ready to get Colt to start battering them up. Does that sound good, bud? Yes, sir. All right. Colt's going to pat this fish dry real quick before he drops it down into this cornmeal we got. Just plain cornmeal, nothing fancy. Get all that extra moisture off of it. All right, Colt, now drop it off in that cornmeal in that bag there. Yes, sir. Drop you a few pieces off there. There you go. Looking good. We'll get them all in there. All 
I already hear that grease starting to fire. Seal it up. Make sure it's sealed good so you don't make a mess of your mama's kitchen. You got it? Mm -hmm. All right, now give it a good shake around. Shake it all around. All right, we're going to get ready to drop it in the grease. Everybody, we got our grease heated up. It's ready to go. Colt, you ready to drop them things off in the basket? Yes, sir. All right. Man, if I wasn't eating keto, I'd be on some of this, too. You can figure this is a small mud fish we kept. Um, probably just a, I don't know, pound and a half or so. They seem to eat the best. Be careful there, bud. Um, so you figure about one mud fish, one small one per person. Makes it, you know, a good serving. So you ready to ease them down in the grease? All right. Ease them down and get that lid on there. We're just using our little fryer tonight since we're just cooking for one. Well, let's give them a few minutes and we'll be... You'll be eating good, not me. All right, Colt, I think them's about good. Kind of let them drain for a minute. Man, looky there. You wouldn't know that's mudfish. All right, I think you're good to come over here to the plate. You ready with it? All right. Come on, bring it on over. Man, look at you cooking fish. Go ahead and give it a turn it upside down right there. Turn it right upside down. Man, look right there at them. Mud fish nuggets. Boy, you got to be ready to come off keto. We're going to let them cool down and we'll give them a try in just a minute. All right, so our fish is cooled off, or should I say Colt's fish, and he's got him some uh, jalapeno cheese grits to go with it. You about ready to give these things a try? Yes, sir. All right, tell me what you think of that mud fish. Might be hot. Give it a try now. See what we got. Huh? <laughs> I heard that. Well, I don't reckon he's going to share. Hey, thank y'all for joining us later this summer. We'll try to do a, um, another show on mudfish and, uh, you know, let y'all see the whole process. All right. God bless.